Hi there, everybody. Hello. So today we wanted to talk about moving. Yeah, moving's a pretty difficult experience that everybody usually has to deal with and once in their lifetime. Um, we recently had to move and um, we got some pointers for if uh, you're in a similar situation. Um, the first thing the that's really important is plan as far in advance in, as you can because the more you plan uh, the less stressful it will be when you actually do it. That is true. We had a little over a year to actually plan this shit out. We actually uh, went to the place where we were thinking about moving and we stayed there for I think about a week and a half or just yeah, a week. It was a week, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was a full week and we looked at apartment complexes in the neighborhoods that we wanted to live in and we sort of just like kept our name out there and kept in touch with the apartment complexes that we wanted to live at. Yeah, it's uh, very beneficial if you can go to the place that you're thinking about moving to to check out the area and, and get a feel for how it's laid out and, and stuff beforehand. Um, but I know not everybody has that kind of a luxury. <laughs> Another thing to look at or consider is looking at the... Basically, there are calculators out there that show you how much it costs uh, to live somewhere else versus where you're living at right now. And we looked at those calculators a lot. Yeah, we did a lot of comparison for... Uh, where we wanted to move to and uh, we had a couple of different places picked out and then we finally decided on uh, one place and that's the area that we went and visited mm -hmm. yeah and it's okay to like visit one area that you're thinking about moving to but then vi also try to look around the surrounding areas too especially if you're staying there for a week yeah, if you're, if you're planning on moving to a major metropolitan area, it's beneficial to look at the surrounding area because it'll be quite a bit cheaper. Um, you just might need to drive a little bit further to get to work, or you can check out the public transit and make sure you can get to the city center where most of the jobs are. That is very true. Also, another good thing is to save up as much money as you possibly can within a year before you're trying to move. Or longer if possible. Yeah. Because moving will drain your bank account very quickly. Also, consider the cost of actually moving your stuff out versus just replacing it with random shit from Ikea. Yeah, we did a lot of... Uh cost analysis to see if we should take some of our bigger items or if we should pay to have it uh, shipped and eventually we decided on getting like a, a pod uh, type thing. Uh, it wasn't an actual pod, it was called a uh, U-Box mm -hmm. and it was a little bit cheaper than the actual pods and it uh, it's kind of similar to what the U-Haul has now. Uh, they have their own little uh, box service too um, but this the one that I picked it was delivered and picked up and dropped off and picked up again which made it easier. The U-Haul one you have to pick it up yourself and drive it around and then drop it back off at the U-Haul facility and then they ship it to the area and you have to pick it up again yourself and drive it to <laughs> where your new place is which is a big bigger hassle. Yeah. Or you can pay people to pick it up and unload it and load it for you and um, but that adds extra cost too. We didn't have that money and we didn't even have that money to like uh, package the stuff inside the box. We did that all ourselves and that was hilarious to look at. <laughs> yeah we were able to get the stuff. Uh, they had to put the box uh, a bit of ways from where our apartment was because it didn't fit in our parking space. So we had to go a little ways down the street to load our stuff, which made it a bit more of a hassle than what we originally planned, but uh, but we it was the only option at that point. <laughs> yeah. 
Either way, we muscled through it and it was worth it in the long run because we were able to keep our m mattress. Yeah, that the, was the biggest thing. The cost for replacing the mattress would have been um, it offset the cost of the getting the box offset set. Um, just trying to find a new good mattress. We could have gotten like a cheap mattress from IKEA, but um, a mattress is kind of important for your overall well-being because if you don't have a good night's sleep then you're you're gonna be grumpy and grouchy all day and you might even have pains and stuff from mm -hmm. sleeping on a basic uh, mattress from Ikea. That is true. Yeah. You see what happened was we invested in a mattress way early on and we wanted to keep that mattress for at least 10 years. Yeah, it's a good mattress. Um, mm -hmm. It's getting about to the end of its lifespan, but uh, we we still got a few more years of life left out out, out of it if we want to continue using it. <laughs> <laughs> Another thing to consider is how you're going to get there. Uh, you can definitely pack light and eventually, uh, you know, either fly or go by train to get to your destination or you can like load up your car with everything you own and just drive on up it's just really important to uh, get rid of as much stuff as you possibly can to stay light because in the long run it's gonna help you out because when you're light you don't have that much stuff to worry about well, that's good advice for if you're doing like long distance moving mm -hmm. if you're doing just like uh, within the same city area, then uh, just getting a U-Haul would probably be your best bet. Um, but if you're doing long distance moving like to a different state, uh, I would highly recommend just comparing prices for different services. There's people that will load up everything into a truck and unload it at the other end, and there's the pods, and there's the U-Haul. Um, so just check out your options and see which one works best for you. Yeah. It also really helps a lot if you have friends. Yeah. <laughs> friends who can help you move. <laughs> That's going to save you money. A little bit, yes. But you're going to have less friends. <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> okay, well I think that's a, that's a good start for our little moving series and um, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Please comment with what tips you guys have for moving. We're going to be talking about this throughout the month. Uh, thank you for watching. <laughs>